Good day, everyone. I was born and raised in Detroit. Growing up there, I saw people like me running things. This is a courtroom, not a circus, so we're gonna calm down. I'm sorry. What I found there was a passion that I didn't know existed. This is the bottom line. I'm excited to free fall into the limitless possibilities with we the people. So many are fearful of the law. They think it's something that works against them. I think you need to begin to accept responsibility for your mistakes. We are the people. Catherine Greenfield claims the custom wedding dress she received looked nothing like the sketch she agreed to. Lily Richards says she already gave Miss Greenfield more money back than she deserves. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lauren Lake presiding. Please be seated. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Sean. The litigants have been sworn in. Thank you so much. Good day, everyone. Good day. This is the case of Greenfield versus Richards. Ms. Greenfield, you are suing Ms. Richards today for $2,500. You say she designed your wedding dress incorrectly. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, tell the court what happened. Today I am suing Lily Richards for $2,500 because she promised me a beautiful customized wedding dress, but when I went to pick up the final product, it looked nothing like the sketch that we agreed to and she refused to give me a refund. Okay, take me back. How did you find Miss Richards' business? My cousin referred her to me. My cousin was very happy with her wedding dress. She had a very gorgeous, elaborate gown. So I really, I trusted my cousin, obviously. So you had seen her work? Yes. She referred you to Miss Richards? Yes. At your first meeting, did you bring a sketch or did you bring a picture, an example of the kind of dress you wanted? I have brought three inspiration photos. And do you have those today? I do not have the inspiration photos, but I do have the original sketch that she agreed to do versus the dress she gave me. Okay, let me just have those for now and then keep walking me through the process. You show her this original, you show her the inspiration. Yes. She three says, three. yes, I can three do that. Photos, Hold on, Honor. Ms. Richards. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Oh. So what I want to know is you go to her, you bring the inspiration photos. From the inspiration photos, you decide on this dress. Before we reached that design, she did show me around her showroom. She tried to convince me to buy a dress that was already made. I did not like any of the dresses. It took her hours. However, I feel like she was really trying to make a sale because she told me, oh, any dress here, if it's not to your liking, I could customize it. I could add more embellishments. That's okay, not what but I said, stop, Your stop, Honor. stop. I want to hear from you, Miss Richards, now. And I want you to take me back to your first encounter and the inspiration photos that Ms. Greenfield presented to you. The three inspiration photos. Did you feel like those were dresses you could accommodate? Your Honor, what she said was is that she wanted to, me to incorporate three inspirational photos into some dress. With only three months to her wedding, she wanted me to make her a brand new dress from scratch. There is no way, Your Honor, and I'm sure you understand this, that I could create a dress for her in three months incorporating three different photos. That's when I begged her and pleaded with her to, Your Honor, I to go her through three to go photos through, because to go through my stop. This is what I want to understand. So when you saw the inspiration photos, you said to her, I cannot do what you're asking for in 90 days. So you gave her options. I could do a another style of dress, which is, I hope, this kind of sketch. This is what you agreed upon. It or you could take a dress all that's already in the shop and I can add to take away from that. Is is that clear? Yes, it is. I just wanted to clarify if you wouldn't yes. mind. Okay, so what I said was that there's no way that I could make you a dress from scratch. First off, she has a very low budget, which I'm not used to, but I took pity on her and I wanted to help her. So I said to her, instead of, you know, just saying no to you, go through my clothes, my beautiful dresses that have already been made and pick one. And I will do my very best to make your dream day a dream day. I understand. Can you both agree that then you came up with a sketch of a dress, which is this, that you both agreed you would try to make? Is that true? And if it's true, where's the contract that represents that? Your Honor, I did the best I could on that sketch. That you both agreed on? Yes, Your Honor. So and this I... is the sketch that is listed and talked about in this order confirmation. 
Yes. Did you agree on this dress? That dress, Your Honor. Thank you. So there's two dresses. There's one on the left, and then there's one on the right. Am I correct? The one on the left so is the, the one. So one, when I say that dress, I meant that is the sketch you agreed on. The left one, yes, Your Honor. All right, and then you're saying, Ms. Greenfield, that the one on the right is the dress you received. She lies, Your Honor, she's a liar. Your Honor, we agreed to the dress on the right. I wanted it to be very, she's very lying. elaborate, I very glamorous, she's lying. and she gave me the dress on the left. I did the best I could, Your Honor. I did the very best. But you best. all just said the opposite. Yes, I wanted the dress on the right. I and wanted I told it to her be I very could elaborate. not make that dress. I made it very clear that I would not be able to make that dress, that if I had to make that dress, the dress would be shifted. It would be, um, it just wouldn't look right, Your Honor, and it would be then damaged. Then why did she if, sketch it in the first place? Because I wanted to help you. I took pity on you. Coming up. So you gave her the dress right. and the thousand dollars yes, back. Yes, I did. Which I but thought it was wasn't a very the full extremely I generous offer. I stopped talking offer. at the same time. And later, it's this yellow envelope, and it has a wad of money in there. You know, just shocked as you know anybody would be shocked to find money in a couch yes, that you just randomly that you got. just paid three hundred dollars <laughs> exactly, for and you found ten thousand dollars. Yes, yes, exactly. yes. Ma yes. Closed captioning provided by. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. We're back with a dispute between Katherine Greenfield and designer Lily Richards over a custom wedding dress. Sound like y'all being petty. That's what it really sounds like. Ms. Greenfield, I would like you to tell the court in this moment and I want to be clear once again because I said earlier the dress on the left is the one that you wanted and the dress on the right is what you got and somebody said yes. So the truth is it is this dress over here is the one you wanted on the far end. Yes, Your Honor. And you got the dress that's closer to me. Yes. And she agreed that on that dress. She agreed Please on the dress. Please tell me what about, and I see a, a difference, but it is not so substantial from the sketch. Oh, she I'd wants like you, what she wants. Ms. She... Richards, I am going to always give you a chance to respond, but you've got to allow me an opportunity to have her say something that you can respond it's very to. Very upsetting, Your Honor. I know you're upset, but be quiet for a minute. Okay, just tell me. What was the huge difference? What were you disappointed about? I wanted floral embellishments covering the entire dress, going all the way down. Okay. I wanted pearl beading with crystal lining, and I wanted some more shape and lining up in the bodice area. Okay, and you wanted all this for $2,500? Yes, she told me she could do it. Miss Richards, now I want you to tell me from the dress that she asked for, how did you come to make the dress on the left? Okay, I explained to Catherine over and over and over that I would not be able to do exactly what she wanted. There's a family relationship here, and I wanted to stay in good standing. I really tried to do the very best that I, that I could. Let me now address the order confirmation that you gave me. It says one bridal gown with customization. Quantity one, price 2500 Ball gown style dress, client wants fuller skirt. We got a fuller skirt. Add floral embroidery down the dress. I see floral embroidery down the dress. Add pearl beading lined with crystals. Is that the bodice? It's yes, the, Your Honor. It's the bust line, Your Honor. Just she the wants to line. accentuate her breasts on her own wedding, turn it into some kind of a strip tease oh or a burlesque show. Your a Honor, wedding should be elegant. A wedding should be beautiful. A wedding is a with blessing this entire time. Your Hold Honor. On. And Hold on. Let's get some order. First of all, there is nothing about this dress that looks like strip clubs, so I don't know what you're talking about. I realize you're upset, but you're taking it too far now. Um, I want to now understand, you're telling me that you promised her that it would be substantially similar if you couldn't get it to her at her price. None of this is on your order confirmation, though. I understand that, Your Honor. Unfortunately, a lot of it was verbal. I trusted her, and I thought that we could work I trusted together. her, Your I Honor. Went, I, I spent her. hours on that dress, Your Honor. I spent hours. What did you end up wearing? Did you end up wearing the dress? 
I did not wear one of Miss Richards' dresses. No, so I had happened? to buy another dress. I had I to buy a dress random her, dress. I gave off her the, the dress and a thousand dollars at the last minute. So you gave her the dress right. and a thousand dollars back. Yes, I did. Which I but thought it was wasn't a very the full extremely I generous offer. I stopped talking at the same time. You gave her the dress and a thousand dollars. So when she complained. You said, I'll give you the dress and $1,000. I could not give her a full refund because I had already embellished and customized the dress, which means that I can't resell it. So out of the goodness of my heart and because I cared about her, I gave her $1,000, which I thought was an amazingly generous offer, and the dress. All right, so you can resell the dress. No, she can't. Yes. Miss Richards, if she owns the dress, she can resell the dress. What are you talking about? I'm a brand name, Your Honor. Yeah, you're a brand name that sells dresses to people, and once they pay for them, they're theirs to resell, give away, wear, and do whatever they want to do. I'm starting to question how doing business with you really was. That's one thing in court. You got to know when to talk, and you got to know when to be quiet. Yes, Your Honor. There's no way she could probably make the dress you were talking about for $2,500. The two dresses that I'm looking at are not so different. And it is for that reason, I am not gonna rule in your favor, Ms. Greenfield, because as a bride, no, you gonna hear me, don't talk. Everything outlined in this contract is done on that dress. And I hate that you didn't have the dress you wanted for your wedding and you had to go buy something else, but that does not mean that Ms. Richards did not perform her duty to the best of her ability. And with that said, Judgment for the defendant, court is adjourned. All rise. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's case is dismissed. I know you had something against that me from the beginning. Saw right through you. Oh my God. You saw everything. You know what? Everything. You're going to pay in another way. Oh, no, just I'm wait. Not. Just oh, no, wait. I'm not. Just and you know wait. what? I want that dress back. You give you me that dress back. You know what? I'd rather throw it away. You may I'd now throw exit the courtroom. Away. That I'd rather throw that dress. dress away. Coming up. And she said this guy that I went to high school with posted on social media that he got a, a vintage couch and found $10,000 in it. And I was like, really? And I looked at it and I was like, he looks like the guy who bought my mama's couch. Closed captioning provided by... Next time on We The People with Judge Lauren Lake. We agreed to the dress on the right and she gave me the dress on the left. I did the best I could, Your Honor. I made it very clear that I would not be able to make that dress, that if I had to make that dress, the dress would be shifted, it would be, it just wouldn't look right, Your Honor, and it would be then damaged. Why did she if, sketch it in the first place? Because I wanted to help you. I took pity on you. You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. Susan Howard claims she sold her late mother's couch at a yard sale, not knowing there was $10,000 inside, which clearly belongs to her. Michael Smith says he bought the couch fair and square, so anything he found is his. Ms. Howard, you are suing Mr. Smith for $10,000. You say he refused to return, and it was found in your mom's couch. Yes, All right, and Mr. Smith, you say the plaintiff should have checked the couch before she sold it. Common sense, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Howard, I want to start with you. Um, yes, I did a yard sale, and one of the things I sold was my mother's couch. How much were you selling the couch for? Yes, I was selling the couch for $400. All right. But the defendant bargained me down to $300. Okay, and, and I that's didn't want to not be unheard of in yes, a garage exactly. sale, in a yard sale, right? right. <laughs> I mean, that's, uh, that's what makes this all bizarre. It's a yard sale. Whatever's on the yard is for sale. How in the world do you find money in it? I had some cleaners come in that night and actually, you know, deep clean that couch. They alerted me that they found the envelope underneath. It's this yellow envelope, and it has a wad of money in there. You know, just shocked as, you know, anybody would be shocked to find money in a couch yes, that you just randomly got. that you got. just paid $300 <laughs> exactly. for? Exactly. And you found $10,000? Yes. Yes, exactly. yes, yes. So what did you do the moment you found it? Uh, you should have given it back to me. I started shopping online. So hold it's on, Mr. Smith. I do want to understand this. And I appreciate your honesty <laughs> because if that's what you did, that's what you did. You thought you would come up on $10,000. But the question becomes, how did this get posted on social media? If you tell your friends this, no one's going to believe you. So I posted and I'm like, yo, I just got a really good deal on this couch that I picked up at this yard sale. 
uh, I found $10,000. And all my friends are laughing and hearting the Does emojis. anybody have a copy of that post? Yes. Yeah. Your Let honor. me see it, please. Here it is, And right again, here. she, she only has a I'll copy a because she has a team well. of investigators you, that searched who I am and what I, what I bought from the uh, yard sale. Came up on this couch at a yard sale. I found $10,000 in it. I literally got my money's worth <laughs> with the dollar signs and then hashtag bless. <laughs> so you was in it. Coming up. The reason why you could sell it is because it was really your couch. Okay, you're on it. Look, and no, it's, it's... don't interrupt me. Do not interrupt me. Closed captioning provided by... You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. We're back with the case of Susan Howard, who is arguing with Michael Smith over hidden money in her late mother's couch. I want to hear how you found out about the post. Yes, yeah, so my cousin called me up and she's like, girl, did you see this post? And she said this guy that I went to high school with posted on social media that he got a, a vintage couch and found $10,000 in it. And I looked at it and I was like, this guy looks familiar. Really? I was like, he looks like the guy who bought my mama's couch. So I um, proceeded to investigate. As you should have. Right. And I ended up looking it up and come to find out it was him. And so what happened? Did you reach out to him? Yes, I, I messaged him and I messaged him and asked him to please return the money, the $10,000. I had no idea that that money was inside of my mama's couch. So you're saying in these text messages, you didn't know the money was there. I did there. not. I mean, why would I sell, why would I sell my mama's couch knowing that there's $10,000 in and it? And then it you respond, Mr. Sense. Smith, I'm sorry. You should have just checked the couch cushions before you sold it. And the money is a blessing to me. And clearly the universe wanted me to have it. So he thought the money was just a blessing. Yeah. That was my mama's I, that belongs to me now. Okay, and you've had the couch for how many years? That doesn't matter. She brought it my, brand my new. Point, my so point is this. What really does that, matter is, is when your mom passed away. Yes, ma'am. Were you the, her only child? Yes, your honor, I, I am. All right, and she did not have a husband. No, your honor. All right, if she left everything to you, you're the owner. And even though you still refer to it as your mother's couch, the reason why you could sell it is because it was really your couch. Okay, you're on it. Look, and no, it's, it's... don't interrupt me. Do not interrupt me. Judge Lake's verdict when We the People returns. Promotional consideration provided by... You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. You posted it, you celebrated, you confessed, and at the end of the day, you alerted Miss Howard. Finders keepers is a thing. Finders keepers only works when the owner never comes back to seek out the property that was theirs. And Miss Howard came back. Days later. And, and asked Doesn't you. Matter. Days later. Listen, Doesn't matter. Days later. And listen, the couch is yours. <laughs> but the money is hers. And it's interesting to me because it is not unheard of for money to be hidden somewhere in the house. Therefore, judgment for the plaintiff for $10,000. Thank Court you. is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant owes $10,000. So, how do you feel about the judge's verdict? Oh, I'm happy. I'm going to be waiting for my money, though, when we get out there. $10,000. Uh, you better you better return uh, a whole bunch of stuff that you purchased, because it's mine. Delusion is... Uh, one hell of a drug. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.